Hello, I'm Chris Parker with ParkerPhotographic.com, and this is a quick start guide for sharpening your images in Lightroom Classic. All right, so there's more than one way to sharpen in Lightroom, but the most popular is through the detail panel. And then just below the sharpening section here, we have our noise reduction tools, and we're gonna cover those in another video tutorial. In essence, when it comes to sharpening, Lightroom targets the details in your images and will apply that sharpening along the edge of that detail. All right, so the sharpening section includes four sliders to maximize the sharpening and where that sharpening is applied. And I'm going to explain why you don't want to sharpen the entire image in a moment. First, let's look at the basics. So each sharpening option has default settings, and these are the settings for my Nikon D500. So the amount is going to increase the quantity of sharpening and sliding it to the right, you're going to gradually increase the amount. Radius increases the size of the sharpening area around the edges of detail or texture. So a default value of one means that Lightroom will be applying sharpening over one pixel around the edge of your detail. Now, if we increase this to the maximum of three, the sharpening will be spread over three pixels near the edge. So this results in a thicker edge, almost like you applied a shadow or a drop shadow along the edge. Now, the detail slider gives you control over the different size details that get sharpened in your photo. So a lower setting will sharpen large edges and a high setting will begin adding sharpening to the smaller details. And the higher you go, the more detail is targeted. But if you go too far, you're going to begin introducing digital noise or digital artifacts that degrade your image. For example, the default setting can target, let's say the hair, eyelashes and eyebrows since they're fairly thick. And as I increase the detail, it starts to target the smaller detail like the pores in her skin and the skin's texture, which results in a lot of grain. And this begins to enhance the skin blemishes as well. So you don't always want to target every detail in the image. It depends on the subject. For example, for birds, the detail targets the large feather edges at the lower values. And if you want to sharpen the feathers with a skinnier edge, then increasing detail will target those edges. And in this case, it might be okay to go higher versus a portrait since that noise is not as noticeable as it was on her skin. All right, so masking provides even more control over where that sharpening effect is applied in your image. At zero, 100% of your image is receiving sharpening. As you increase it, the sharpening effect will be removed from the finer details in your image, like the skin texture or the blue sky in a landscape. Now, if you hold down your Alt or Option key, the image will turn pure white when it's set to the default of zero. And then as you slide it to the right, black will be introduced representing the areas of your image that no longer receive the sharpening. And the further you go, the fewer details that are sharpened. All right, so far we've covered the basics of sharpening, but there's much more to learn to ensure you get the sharpest image possible without over sharpening. So watch this complete sharpening guide next to learn everything you need to know about sharpening in Lightroom Classic.